All right, in this example, we want to try to, number one, find the greatest common divisor of 533 and 195, and then write this number as a linear combination of these two original numbers. So step one is to actually compute the GCD of 533 and 195. And to do this, we'll use the Euclidean algorithm. So here's Euclid. So this one says to successively divide the smaller one into the larger one. And when I say the smaller one, I mean the smaller remainder. Uh, we don't have any remainders yet. We haven't done it yet, right? But this will go in, this won't go in, three is too large, right? So this will only go in two times. Two times 195 is 390. And then we subtract. And so this is going to leave us with what? Um, 143, right? So 143, that's going to go into 195. By the way, as we go here, I'm going to write out over to the side, I'm going to write out the actual division algorithm uh, responses that we get from this, right? So this one tells us that 533, this first step, is equal to 2 times 195 plus 143. Right? This is the division algorithm. The number is equal to the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder. All right. Now we do another division. So this goes in here once, 143. We subtract. This leaves us with what, 42? 52. 52, right? So 52. And so in here we have now that one, uh, the next step, right? 195 is equal to 1 times 143 plus 52 and then the next step is 52 has got to go into 143 this one cannot go three times can only go twice right so as this goes in two times we now have 104 and we subtract and we're left with what 39 and so the next step of the division algorithm is that 143 is equal to 2 times 52 plus 39 and we have a couple more steps. I'm going to slide over here so that I can keep this in line. 39 into uh, 52 is the next step. That goes in once. And the difference is 13. And so the next step here is 52 is equal to 1 times 39 plus 13. And then finally, we're going to find our greatest common divisor because 13 into 39 is a perfect 3, right? So there's our zero remainder. So the last step here is that 39 is equal to 3 times 13 plus 0. All right, so a couple things here. Number one, the GCD is 13. We just found that. The next thing is we are going to have to find what are called the Bezu coefficients, right? The Bezu coefficients are the numbers, the coefficients in the linear combination. So we are going to have to do a whole bunch of back substitutions. So we've got these 13s and we've got these 39s, right? We've got uh, the, this, this, 13, uh, this 13 is going to be left alone, but it's, it's fine. So we'll see how this works. Then we've got our 52, right? We've got our 39 up here. So there's going to be a whole lot of back substitution happening here. And I'm just kind of underlining all the numbers that are the same. So the 143s all happen here. There's our 52. Should be red, right? And then finally, we've got our 195. Whoops, I already used that color. So our 195 back solve up here. And we're going to need are 533. So we're trying to get a combination of, so our 13 to be written, <clears throat> we're trying to get 533 and 195 written as a linear combination which add up to 13, right? So let's do it now. All right, so to do our back solving, we're actually going to start with this row right here, and we're going to solve for 13. All right, and the reason is because we want 13 to be by itself up here, right? So we're going to solve this for 13. So this says that 13 is equal to 52 minus 1 times 39. Okay, now we're going to go up to the next line, and we're going to solve that one for uh, the 39. Okay, so that line now says that 39 is equal to 143 minus 2 times 52. So what do we do? We now plug this formula for 39 into this 39. And so now we'll have 13 as a combination of 143 and 52. So let's continue this on. This will then give us, right, so doing this substitution now gives us that 13 is equal to 52 
minus 143 minus 2 times 52. We don't want to multiply this out. What we end up with now is that 13 is equal to uh, 52 plus two more 52s. That's 3 times 52 minus 1 times 143. I'm going to throw a 1 in there. All right, and now we go to the next one. So now we go up to the one where the remainder is 52. So that one's going to be solved. This one says now 52 is equal to 195 minus 143, right? And this 52, this equation, goes back in for this 52 right here. We can see how this is going to work, right? So now what does our equation say? I'll come over here. 13 is equal to 3 times 195 minus 143. Uh, minus 143, and of course this tells us then that 13 is equal to 3 times 195 minus 3 minus 1, so minus 4 times 143. All right, what's the next step? You can probably figure it out. By the way, 195 is part of our answer. We want that, right? So this part, of, this 195 can stay. We got to get rid of this 143 though, and to do that we go back up to this equation and we solve this one now for the 143. So 143 is going to be equal to 533 minus 2 times 195. So 143 was equal to 533 minus 2 times 195. Like I said, that now goes in for this, and we're almost there, right? So now what do we have? We have 13 equals 3 times 195 minus 4 times 533 minus 2 times 195. All right, we distribute and we solve this. We get 13 is equal to negative 4 times 533 uh, plus what? We've got 3 plus 8, so plus 11 times 195. All right, and so notice here these two numbers. 533, 195, those are the numbers in our GCD, right? These are exactly the original numbers that we were given to work with, 533 and 195. And so we have then written the, the statement here as a linear combination of the two of them. And so these numbers, negative 4 and 11, these are the Bezu coefficients of these two numbers. All right, so this is uh, done by first applying the Euclidean algorithm to get the GCD and then plugging back in by back solving to solve for the 13. So we didn't need this line, right? We didn't need this line. And from the rest of these, we solve for them uh, individually, for, solve for the remainders, and then plugged in, kind of uh, shoelaced our way back up to get this final statement here. The linear combination of our GCD as the, the linear the GCD as a linear combination of the original numbers.